I know I've said it dozens of times on my channel, but it is worth repeating. Watching an entertaining French movie is a lovely way to improve your oral comprehension. This is why I love making recommendations for you so you can improve your oral comprehension from home. If you have young children or grandchildren, my recommendation for today might seem familiar. Miraculous, Les Aventures de Ladybug et Chat Noir. Or in English, Miraculous, Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. It is an animated superhero TV series that's been streaming on Disney Plus in the US for a few years now. This film version of the franchise is available on July 5th here in France and it will be available on Netflix in just a few weeks. Today I thought we could watch the excellent trailer together so that I can give you insight about what is being said that you could miss as a non-native speaker and give you lots of tiny details about French culture. Are you ready? C'est parti! Okay, so something that is interesting and made me pick this trailer for you today is that it is pretty faithful to everyday French culture. Outside of the heroes, villains and superpowers, of course. But the dialogue and visuals really sound and look French. For example... Écoute, Marinette. So, this first shot is actually the reason why I wanted to make a video on this trailer. Because this is Marinette's grad school that we call in French le collège, le collège, for children between roughly age uh, 11 and 15. The design is supposed to be based on a Parisian un lycée, a high school un lycée, but it also reminds me of my old high school and many other similar schools in Paris and other cities. These were built in the late 19th and early 20th century. This style is sometimes called le style Jules Ferry, Jules Ferry, from the famous education minister of that time who basically invented modern public schooling in France. The facade is displaying a French flag. That's the rule for French schools and town halls. French people themselves very rarely use French flags as a decoration or a display, especially at home. In real life, the school should also display a flag of the EU and more importantly, the French motto Liberté, Égalité, Fraternité. Liberté, Égalité, Fraternité. Many schools built at that time also kept their original name set in stone, mainly things like École de Garçons, School for Boys, École de Garçons, and École de Filles, School for Girls. École de filles. They're not separated anymore, but the words in stone often stay there anyway. By the way, this full lesson is available in written form as a blog post on my website. You will also find written transcripts for the lesson and the trailer subtitles as well as extra resources. Check it out, just click on the link below the video in the description. On sait que t'as toujours été... Miss Catastrophe. C'est trop... Here, the girl says, c'est trop cool, c'est trop cool. Literally, that's too cool. We can notice two things here. First, many English words are part of informal spoken French. And second, she uses trop as a more intense way to say très, for very. Trop usually means too much of something, too much of. But in informal French, we use it to mean very or a lot. Mais là, ça se voit que t'as bugué. Moi, j'ai bugué. Oui, t'as carrément flashé sur Adrien, le tombeur. The correct version of this sentence should be Mais là, ça se voit que t'es figé. Mais là, ça se voit que t'es figé. In everyday spoken French, though, we can use the anglicism bugué, bugué. Yes, with this very French pronunciation. We use it to say to bug out or to glitch. But more than just a colloquial word, we hear colloquial pronunciation. Like most French people, the girl speaks fast and drops a lot of letters when she speaks. In fact, mais là ça se voit que tu as bugué, which should be what she should say, becomes mais là ça se voit que t'as bugué. 
Mais là, ça se voit que t'as bugué. This is much faster and much more authentic. Mais là, ça se voit que t'as bugué. In French schools, French libraries do not look like this. This looks much more like a university library or said the Richelieu building of the French National Library. For example, here is the actual library of the Lycée Carnot that inspired the set design of the outside of the school. Et toi, t'es censé être quoi Une pastèque Tu peux répéter These look like typical Parisian rooftops. And it's our first glance at the super ladybug. In French, a ladybug is une coccinelle. Une coccinelle. Coccinelle. But I guess it sounded cooler in English. This new superhero shares some traits with another teenage black-haired French masked heroine called Fantomette. Fantomette, literally the little ghost. Fantomette was created in 1961 by writer Georges Cholet. Georges Cholet and quickly became a big success. She appeared in 50 subsequent novels and even a live action series in the 90s. And the parallels with ladybugs are official. Why? Because Marinette School in Miraculous is called le Collège Françoise Dupont. Le Collège Françoise Dupont. And who is Françoise Dupont? Françoise Dupont is the real name of young Fantomette. This shot makes some artistic changes to the geography of Paris, but we can clearly see le pont au change in the center of Paris. Le pont au change. Le pont au change is right next to the Notre Dame Cathedral in the center of Paris. On the right, we can see des piétons. Des piétons, pedestrians, des piétons, walking alongside la Seine. This path used to be a fast lane for cars. But it was slowly reclaimed and in 2017, it became a full-time park with no cars allowed. I love taking walks there on sunny afternoons. In the background, you might notice une péniche, une péniche, which is a long barge, une péniche. These boats are a very common sight in Paris. They're transporting cargo on the river or they're used as houseboats or floating venues. Ladybug just crashed into Notre Dame de Paris, Our Lady of Paris. This church suffered a great fire in 2019 and is currently closed to the public. They plan to reopen it in 2024. But you might be able to visit inside if you're a superhero. This is the Eiffel Tower, you know it. The villain is using some kind of lighting strikes, which sometimes actually happen in real life. This looks like the building that used to host La Bourse de Paris, the Paris uh, Stock Exchange, La Bourse de Paris. The police cars here are very funny because they have this very round cartoonish design. Of course, they don't look in any way realistic, but for French people, they remind us of old comedy movies about law enforcement. Oh, And about their car, the Volkswagen Beetle in French is called la coccinelle, the ladybug. There is a stereotype that mimes are a typical French thing, but I don't think it's true. This cliché comes from the artist called le mime Marceau, le mime Marceau, who got quite famous between the 50s and the 80s. The villain called Papillon, butterfly in French, gives off some very, very strong Fantomas feelings. Fantomas was a very famous villain created in early 20th century novels, but he's now much more famous from movie adaptations from the 60s. Oui, c'est bien moi, Fantomas. In the cathedral, une gargouille, a gargoyle, une gargouille in French, suddenly appears behind le vitrail, le vitrail, the stained glass window. In the 2019 fire, unfortunately, several of those were destroyed, but they're currently being remade as part of the Great Reconstruction Project. 
This looks like la fête foraine des Tuileries. La fête foraine des Tuileries. It is a small carnival fair that opens every summer in le Jardin des Tuileries, the garden near le Louvre Museum. And here we are on the very famous Pont Birakeim. Pont Birakeim. You might have seen it in Inception, for instance. Above it, it is a railway for le métro aérien. Le métro aérien. It is a part of the line where the metro is above the ground and passengers can enjoy a beautiful view of Paris. And below, it is a pedestrian lane that you can use. It is now called la promenade Jean-Paul Belmondo. Jean-Paul Belmondo. After the French actor who did this. These green boxes in the background belong to les bouquinistes, les bouquinistes. There are small second-hand bookshops near the Seine and an iconic site in Paris. And finally, here is one of the best shots in French animation history. A giant rampaging croissant. I love it. Next to that, the bus stop looks real with the correct typeface, design and colors. We are at the bus stop of Le Pont Neuf, or the new bridge, which is actually the oldest bridge in Paris. Notice the red ovals with the white letters in the middle. They indicate un buraliste, un buraliste. It is a place where you can legally buy tobacco and cigarettes. And on the other side, we find un faux ami, a false cognate. Because the library is of course a bookshop, and not in bibliothèque, a library. All in all, Miraculous looks like a lovely movie for children made with heart and care and a lot of love for the details of Parisian culture. Today, I didn't even cover everything in the trailer. You will find more insights and analysis in the blog post for today's lesson. And even more French animation recommendations with lovely characters and cute details. But for now, you can revisit this video and review everything you've learned today. Or you can keep on learning French with Netflix with L'Agence, the Parisian agency selling real estate in the most beautiful places in France. Click right here on your screen to access this video. I will see you there. Allez, à tout de suite.